Hey, what's going on? Seth here. One of the quirks of dealing with a vacant land property is that in many cases, a vacant lot does not have a physical address. And this can present some problems because when you're trying to help another person find your property, like drive to it and know when they're standing on it, it can be a little bit challenging because in many cases, there's no house there. There may be no tree line. There might not even be a road access. I mean, it can truly be out in the middle of nowhere. And when you're dealing with a property like that, that doesn't have any landmarks nearby, it can just be kind of problematic when you're trying to help another person get to the property and know when they're standing on the property. And for a lot of years before I knew about land ID, I would do this by trying to print off parcel maps and then find the address of a neighboring property and give them directions to that property, then help them understand how to get from that property to my property. It was just kind of convoluted and not straightforward at all. But land ID makes that way easier. And I'm going to show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account here. And Land ID is not a free tool. This is something you have to pay for. But if you are a professional who is regularly working in the business of dealing with vacant land, it's extremely useful for a number of different reasons. But when it comes to helping another person find where your property is, get to the property and know when they're standing on the property, all you'd have to do is go ahead and click on create new map. And wherever your property is, whatever state it's in, you just click on that and then click get started. And in most cases, you're probably going to know the address if it does have an address or more commonly, if it does doesn't have an address, which is usually the issue we're dealing with here. You could go down here and click on parcel and you can search for it by the parcel ID number if you have that or the name of the owner. If you happen to know that, if it's yourself, you could just put your own name in there, however you're on title or the owner address. So not the address of the property itself, but the address of where that property owner lives. In most cases, when I'm doing this, I have the parcel ID number, so I just do that. However, in this case, I'm just going to randomly zoom in on a property that looks like vacant land and use that. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in like like this. And as we start zooming in, you'll start to notice a lot of these parcel lines with names on them start popping up. That's one of the many useful things about Land ID is it will show you those parcel maps and then also the owner of each property. For the purpose of this tutorial, we don't really care about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off, but we're going to keep zooming in here and let's just find a parcel that uh, looks like it probably does not have a physical mailing address. So in other words, a property that doesn't have a structure or a house or something like that on it. And this one right here kind of looks like that. And sure enough, we can see the street name. It's Avenue U or U Avenue, Bushton, Kansas 67427, but there's no street number. So we couldn't just plug this into Google Maps and get to an exact location, but Land ID makes this super simple. Once you have that property highlighted like this, so you basically just click on the thing. All we want to do is click convert to mapped feature. So we're going to click on that and we're just going to convert this to the boundaries of the property and then we'll click save. And then we're going to go down here and click save as, and we'll just give this thing a name. We'll call it test map. We could put other information in here if we wanted to, but there's really no need for what I'm trying to show you. All we have to do is click save now. And then we're going to go down here and click share. And that's going to give us a few different links or ways that we can share this map that we just created. And the beauty of this is even though we have to be a paid subscriber, anybody else in the world that we share this with doesn't have to be a subscriber. So they don't have to pay anything to use this. So we're going to go ahead and click on this one, the unbranded version. If we wanted to, we could email this map to somebody. We could also get this embed code and embed it on our website if we wanted to. Say if we had a property listing and we wanted to show off the property that way. But again, I'm just going to copy the unbranded link and I can text this to somebody. I can email this to somebody. In this case, I'm just going to save it in a note that's going to sync to my phone. And then I'm going to show you what the end user can do with this link once they have this. So go ahead and create this new note, paste this thing in there. And now I'm going to go over to my phone and show you what it looks like on that end. Okay, now I've got my phone pulled up. This is the link that I just pasted from my desktop computer. I'm going to go ahead and tap on this. And what it's going to do is pull up a browser. And now I can see that same map. And once I've got this on my phone, there's all kinds of different layers I can put on this thing to see other information. We've got a different video that gets into all that. But what's really cool about this is you'll notice this open app button at the top. If I tap on that thing, it's going to bring me to the iOS app store. I'm on an iPhone right now. We can go ahead and download the app. And once we have the app, we just click open. It's going to open that app for us. And right down here where it says need to view a shared map. Yes, that's exactly what we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And it tells us to go back to that link and click on it again. So let's go back here and do that. We'll tap on that. Now it's going to open up the app directly. And we see the same map here. But now you'll see at the very bottom, there's this thing that says get directions. So let's go ahead and tap on that. So at the top, it says your location. So this is just where I am right now. And then beneath that, it's blank. So we can tap on that blank and we're going to tap drop location. And it says tap on the map to add a destination. Okay, let's tap the parcel we're trying to go to. And now 
it gives us directions from my location, which is over in West Michigan, all the way to the exact coordinates of this property in Kansas. And I can tap on Start Directions, and we're going to use the Native Maps app on my phone. And just like that, I've got driving directions. And this isn't to the property next door. It's not using that address or the property up the street. This is the actual property itself. And the cool thing is, if we go back to the land ID map, you'll notice way over here uh, where I'm at, there's this little blue dot, which indicates my current physical location. And as I drive closer to the property itself, that little blue dot is going to get closer and closer and closer and once i actually step onto that property it's going to show the blue dot in the parcel map meaning hey you're there now so it's one of the best ways i know of from the end user's experience being the person that you send this map to to make it really easy for them to understand how to get to your property and not just how to get there but once they get there they can pull out their phone and understand when they're actually standing on your property it's just a great way to help that person get there and again it's free for them you have to pay for this but the other person that you're working with doesn't have to so whenever I'm dealing with a buyer and trying to help them understand how to get there, I don't have to meet them in person. I don't have to get a realtor involved. I don't have to give them complicated, difficult to use directions. I can just give them the link and they can figure it out with the app. And it's super simple. So if you ever deal with that kind of issue, I want to make sure you are aware of this. Again, Land ID is useful for a lot of other stuff beyond what I'm just showing you here. This is actually like a really tiny little feature that it has. It just happens to be insanely useful. So if you want to see some of the other things Land ID can do, I'm going to link to some of the other videos I've made explaining that stuff. And uh, you can also see those videos displayed on the screen right now. And I hope you go check those out and find those helpful as well. If you want to go check out Land ID, all I have to do is go to ID.land and that's where you can find all the information you need to know. Thanks, for watching. Talk to you again next time.